measures of central tendency are calculations of ways that values tend or sort of a group toward the middle or group toward a certain area. And there are three general ways. There are three common versions. The three common measures of central tendency are the mean, the median, and the mode. The mean is the one that is actually the most common. It's the one that you see all the time. Um, usually it's referred to as the average. That's sort of the, the common everyday term for it. From a mathematical standpoint, it's technically called the mean. But to calculate the average of, of something, you take the total um, value of the things that you're calculating, the total value, and you divide it by the number of entries. So suppose I had, I wanted to find the average age of a group of students. And um, the first one, uh, let's say that their ages were, were uh, three years, uh, five years, seven years, eight years, and 10 years. Yeah. So I have a total of eight, 16, 26, 33 years, right? So I have a total of 33 years of age to choose to sort of pick from here and there are actually out of those 33 years there are five students so my total value of years or total value of ages is 33 and the number of entries in my calculation is 5 so I take 33 divided by 5 and I get 6 and 3 fifths years so that six and three-fifths years would be the mean or the average age of that group of students. Now the second way to calculate um, the measure of central tendency is the median. And the median simply just means the middle number. So if I'm using the same group of students again and I want to find the median or the middle, what I do is line up the ages in order. I say three years, five years, seven years, eight years, and ten years. And once I have all my numbers in order, then I just figure out what number's in the middle. So that's pretty easy. I just pick out the one right in the center. There should always be the same amount of age below, the same number of uh, entries below, and the same number of entries above your median. Now, if you have an even number so that you have two things in the middle, then you just find the, the average or the mean of your median, which is kind of funny. But what you're looking for is the value that's right in the center. So in this case, 7 would be the, the median age, which in this case is pretty close to 6 and 3 fifths, which was our mean. That's not always, that's not always the situation at all. But in, the, in this example, those are pretty close together. And then finally, the third calculation is the mode. And the mode, this is a really bad example for mode, so we're going to add another value. Um, to calculate the mode, the mode is the most common number, most common value. So if we're looking for the mode of a group of ages, let's say that we had a, a two-year-old, a five-year-old, um, another two-year-old, uh, an eight-year-old, a ten-year-old, and a twelve-year-old. And we're looking for the most common, or the mode. Well, the mode here would be two years, because it's the only one that has two entries. Now, this is an interesting uh, sort of a set to look at, because in this case, the mode would be very different from either the median or the mean. If I were to line all these things up in order, my median would be a two, two, five, it'd be, uh, what, halfway between five and eight, or seven and a half, six and a half. So 6.5 is pretty far from 2, and my mean would be pretty close to the same thing. So you can see that sometimes the measures aren't nearly, aren't, aren't close to each other at all, and sometimes they can be very, very similar. And there really is validity for all three of these. That's why we have all three of them. There are different times when one value means more than another, and you just have to see what's most appropriate in any given situation.